The Successful Servant Leader Podcast is all about the pioneer woman on her unique journey of becoming and being who God has called her to be. The divine connection between the wealth mindset and success in every area of our lives can no longer be denied. Successful Servant Leader teaches us how to increase our confidence and strategically and effectively serve while in the pursuit of success in our lives, our faith, and our businesses. I'm your host, Victoria Grace, and welcome to the show. Hey, SSL fam. Thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of this movement. What's up, you guys? I am so glad that you're here. Give yourself a pat on the back for intentionally yet again, choosing to be a part of this conversation that will surely help all of us level up spiritually, personally, and professionally. Now, if you're new here, what's up? Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Go ahead and make sure that you hit that subscribe button on whatever app you're listening on. You'll get a fresh episode on either the wealthy place, healthy behavior change, and current topics related to the modern day servant leader every single week. Now, y'all know I normally say happy new week, but Happy new month. Not only did we make it through Black History Month, February 2022, but we've made it into Women's History Month or Women's Month. Y'all tell me if I got that right or not. (laughs) Either way, we're celebrating women. Either way, we're celebrating modern pioneer women. Either way, we're celebrating successful servant leaders. Either way, this month, I'm here to celebrate you and I'm here to really just encourage you this week and really just help you understand not only where I've been in this season and what's been going on with me, but also something that I believe that God is just doing in the lives of his daughters, point blank period, okay? Now, before we get into today's topic, let's go over our biblical truth for the day or our BT. Say this with me. I have sowed in the land and the territory God has given me, and I will reap what I have sown one hundredfold in this very season. Rewind that back if you have to, and make sure that you say that out loud with authority, okay? This is based off of Genesis 26, verse 12, and it says, Then Isaac sold in that land and received in the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed him. Stand firmly on that. Believe that you have the power and the authority through Christ to mentally and physically align yourself with God's truth regularly and consistently, not just on occasion, not just once a week, once a year, once a month, regularly and consistently, okay? You guys know our biblical truths are brought to you by The Pursuit. If you want to be a part of that community outside of just the podcast or social media, make sure that you hit that link in the show notes. You guys know that The Pursuit is literally always free. All you have to do is make the choice to do it. So before we hop in, I just want to remind you guys that this week, Our prayer call is going to be on another level. If you've been with me for some time, then you already know that at least once a month. Now, I do prayer calls every single week, but at least once a month, the prayer call is specifically geared toward our prayer of activation of spiritual warfare brought to us directly by our good sis, Dr. Cindy Trim, and her book, The Rules of Engagement. The Art of Strategic Prayer and Spiritual Warfare. And so if you know that in this season you need some extra oomph, you need some extra power, you need some extra authority, you need some extra covering, make sure that you join us this Wednesday for our prayer call. Now, like I said, we do prayer call every single Wednesday, okay? 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you are a part of the pursuit, you get a notification every single week. So you have no way to forget. And if you're a part of the inner circle, you get all of those recordings. So 
you need to make sure that you are connected to this, okay? Because God is doing so much in this season and I do not want you to miss out on the glory cloud, okay? The glory cloud and the levels that he's taking us and the levels that he's taking me that I can't wait to share with you guys. And I want to hear from you guys as well. Like reach out to me on Instagram. Let me know in the DMs or if you're in the pursuit, let me know inside of the pursuit. How is God showing you his glory in this season? Because remember, we talked about this in January. This is a year of restoration. Now, January, the month restoration, it kept ringing and ringing and ringing in my head. But God quickly revealed to me that it's not just January, it's the entire year. And now fast forward to March, I think I shared this last week or at some point was, or it must have been on the prayer call, but it has been confirmed to me on multiple occasions by people that I know that are directly connected to God. I know that we are all directly connected, but I mean prophets, you guys. I mean, for real modern day prophets. This March is a month of miracles. March is a month of miracles. And if you have been cultivating that seed, if you have been reaping, I'm sorry, if you have been sowing in the way that God has asked you to sow by just spending time with him, by getting up early and just praying with him, by praying before you go to bed at night, by making sure you teach your children about the word, by making sure that you're the light within your nine to five, by making sure that you are the light of the world within your business, by making sure that you're going to him and you're doing business his way and not the world's way, but making sure also that you're doing your marriage and your parenting and your career his way, however he has called you as servant leader. If you've been sowing, I promise you, you will reap the benefits of that time and that energy and everything that you've been putting in. Trust and believe, honey, because your girl was in a space where I was just like, I'm going to keep doing it, God. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it because that's what like, I wholeheartedly believe in you. I know that you've saved me. And if you didn't do anything else for me, I have no reason not to serve you. I have no reason not to be obedient to what you say or what you tell me to do. I have no reason to think that my life is my own. I have zero reason to think that my life is not my own. Did I say that right? I think I said that right. I have zero reason to think that this life is mine. I have zero reason to think that I have the authority over my own life, that I have the authority over my child and over my marriage and over my situation. I don't. I don't belong to myself. I don't belong to my parents, which in a sense I do, but I don't belong to them. I belong to the one who created me, who put me in my mother's womb who put my mom and my dad together to create and form me, who put me in this space in 2022 that I am now, who put me on this earth to be with my husband and then create our child. That's who I belong to and that's who I yield to. That's who I have to bow down to at the end of the day because I wholeheartedly believe that there is life after this life. And so I don't want to get too deep, y'all, but I really want to talk about the fact that you are a divine cultivator. And if you ever thought for one second that you had no reason to be here, if you've ever thought for one second that your life has no purpose and it has no value, each and every one of us were created to serve. Hallelujah. Each and every one of us were created for a reason. Each and every one of us were created to create. Hallelujah. Each and every one of us were created to lead and each and every one of us were created to impact. It doesn't matter where you've been called to impact and lead and serve and teach and create, but it matters if you give God your yes. So let's get right into today's episode. You are a divine cultivator. Now on February 17th, 2022, God gave me the word cultivating the seed. I have no idea what I was doing. I cannot remember what I was doing or how I was doing it, but usually that's what happens for me. God will speak to me in the shower. I told you guys plenty of times he speaks to me in the car. Um, And if I'm just cooking, I'm usually doing something. <laughs> we're getting to a place, you know, me and God, we didn't have this conversation. Like we're getting to a place where like when I try to set the time that he told me to set for us to sit down and actually talk, I'm starting to hear better from him. 
I'm going to give you guys more on that when I can, but yeah, but for the most part, God will speak to me when I am after the fact of my prayer and my worship for the morning or for the day, or if I'm just going about my day praising and worshiping, he'll speak to me in that moment as well. And so he gave me cultivating the seed. And so I'm like, okay, God, what does this mean? But I have a text chat to myself and my phone. So even if I don't have my no- my notebook by me, I can always write something down if I need to write it down. So I would definitely recommend you doing that as well if you need to and you find that God talks to you in the most unopportune times, if you will, when you're the most busy, usually our phones are always by us. So you can always kind of just text that to yourself or put that in your notes or something like that. But cultivating the seed. And I said, okay, God, what are we doing with this? And he Within like a few seconds, I would say like 30 to 45 seconds, he brought back to me that seed, how when I first started my ministry, I was always talking about that pull or that nudge and that you feel in your belly that you have to do something more or I should be doing this or I'm not right for this and I should be doing that or that feeling that you get that just tugs on you so much that you cannot ignore it. That is the seed, right? It is the seed first and foremost that God is planting in you to get to know him better or to pursue that thing that he has given you to create or teach on or be in a leadership role or impact with, right? And so with that seed, we have to understand that he'll give us that seed. He'll give us that little nugget. He'll give us that little pull, that tug, maybe to go read a scripture or to go talk to him or to listen to a specific song to get full or a better revelation, not a full revelation. Cause if you know, you know, but how he will just give us little nuggets here and there. Those are parts of the seed. Once you get that initial seed, you have to have the momentum and the courage, secondly, to cultivate that thing because it takes time, right? I talked about how in each stage of our lives, God has taken us to, he wants to take us from each level of glory. So like you're, if you could see me right now, you know, you have this one level of glory and he's waiting for you to cultivate that level and to put in the work at that level so he can take you to the next level. And then you cultivate there and put in the work there. And then you go to the next level and you cultivate there and you put in the work there. And so as we start to understand this idea of being a divine cultivator, y'all know I love definitions and really to break things down, let's talk about what, first of all, divine means. According to Merriam-Webster, divine means of or relating to God, uppercase G, God, or a lowercase G, God, divine will. It says being in praise of uppercase G, God, religious, holy, divine worship, like a lowercase G, God, the pharaohs of ancient Egypt were considered divine. Now, when I think of divine in the way that our Lord and Savior (laughs) teaches us to go. And when we think about being divinely connected to him, what is that thing? This is a pop quiz, y'all. What is that thing that once Jesus was crucified and, you know, he came back, he rose from the dead and he saw his disciples, now apostles, before he ascended into heaven permanently, I guess you could say, like as he, when he went to heaven permanently, What did he leave here for us? What was the advocate? He said he was leaving an advocate for us. Pop quiz. What was the advocate? Who was the advocate? If you said the Holy Spirit, you are actually correct. (laughs) You are correct. The Holy Spirit is our divine advocate. The Holy Spirit is our connection from us here on earth 
to God and Jesus in the heavenly realms. The Holy Spirit is our advocate. The Holy Spirit is going to tell you not to touch that plate because it's hot. The Holy Spirit is going to say, hmm, let's not take this way to work today. Let's take this way to work today. The Holy Spirit is going to say, hmm, your child is telling the truth about this. You need to go and check out what's going on. Um, the Holy Spirit is going to tell you, hmm, Maybe you shouldn't go and be a part of that event, or maybe you should not go and be a part of that organization, or maybe you should not go and do this and that. You can think of it like our gift of discernment, right? And so Holy Spirit is one of the three divine beings of our God, our single omnipotent, omnipresent God. Holy Spirit is one of the ways that he's able to be with all of us at all times, right? Um, And so Holy Spirit is what makes us divine creatures. Now let's talk about this concept of being a cultivator. Now, when I think about the word cultivate, I'm thinking I am out in a field, plowing something or digging something up or planting something, right? And so when we go to the word cultivate, it is a transitive verb. This means that it can be done to something or someone. We can cultivate things. If you didn't know, now you know, okay? Clap your hands for me. I am a cultivator. Say it with me. I am a divine cultivator. Now, cultivate means to prepare for the raising of crops, to protect and encourage the growth of, to cause to grow by special attention or by studying, advancing, developing, practicing, or publicizing. Part of that second definition speaks volumes, you guys, if you didn't get it, to improve by labor, care, or study. You do not cultivate on accident. You do not cultivate by happenstance. If you've been here since day one, you know I've been saying things do not just happen for no reason. There are no coincidences. I have an entire piece in one of my main courses. There are no coincidences. We do not accidentally cultivate. We purposefully cultivate because our divine advocate has given us the power and the authority to be able to do that here on earth. Now, let me say this again, just in case there's any confusion. Our divine advocate is the Holy Spirit. Our divine advocate is the Holy Ghost. Okay. Our divine advocate is directly connected to the creator of the heavens and the earth, the kings of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of all the lowercase g gods, the omnipresent one, the omnipotent one, the um, omniscient one. Okay. So I just want to make sure I make that very, very clear. My prayer for you in this season, in this time, and in this month is that. We together as a community, we not only cultivate the seeds that he's planted in each and every one of us individually, but that we together cultivate in a way that when we answer our calling to emerge, lead, teach, serve, and impact, that it makes others want to figure out what is that light that she has? What is that strength that she has? What is that power that she has? That authority, that grace that she has? I want to know that power source because in this day and age, everybody everywhere is looking for a power source. And I want to let you know that for the most part, a lot of these people that you see on social media, They are getting their power source, not from the one that is omnipresent, not from the one that is omnipotent, not the one that is the God of all the lowercase g gods, the one that is the king of kings. And that's why I really pray that I pray for you guys all the time. Everybody connected to the successful servant leader community 
I pray for all of you, whether you're on the email list, you're a listener of the pod, it doesn't matter. I'm praying for you that God himself increases your spirit of discernment, that God himself gives you eyes to be able to see and ears to be able to hear. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to be perfect. This doesn't mean that you will no longer be human. Okay. It just means that you will literally be walking each and every day with that divine advocate, not the divine advocate in the back corner or, you know, behind you because he's always there protecting you. Right. But with the divine advocate. So as you make decisions and as you talk to people, you're making those decisions and you're talking with people, allowing our divine advocate to work and speak through us. And so with that being said, when our spirit of discernment is heightened and when our eyes are able to see and hear divinely in the way that God wants us to see and hear, there is no way that we can be blinded or that we can be deceived by everything that the enemy is putting out into the world that he wants you to think is from God that when it's really not. So because I know that all of you connected to this community and by the way I didn't even mention my YouTube community like God is doing a thing over there and this particular episode will be posted to my YouTube channel Life with Victoria Grace. So shout out to you guys for listening over on YouTube. I'm gonna see how that goes. Let me know if y'all like this being posted to YouTube or not. But because I know that everybody connected to this community is in fact a divine cultivator, whether you already knew that and God had already told you that and you just like, yes, sis, thanks for the reminder. Or if you had no idea and now you feel more empowered and more encouraged, I want to share with you guys some people that I know for a fact are divinely connected and don't waver in their faith and they're serious about their business, their lives and everything in between when it comes to God on social media, because I know that there are so many different voices out there. Sometimes you just don't know who to listen to and what to listen to. And let's be honest, we're all human. We can say that we don't use social media or we don't want to use social media, but you'll probably end up on social media. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend you to purge in this season, purge in this season for individuals who may not necessarily be aligned with the principles of what God says, you know, about the, what the God of the Bible says. Um, and even if you don't necessarily purge, at least add these people to your list. And I thought that this was a great way to kind of go into women's month as well as to kind of transition from Black History Month. Um, and just to talk about a few more modern pioneer women, like legit modern day pioneer women of their time here in 2022 and the things that they are doing. And so I will be sure to link everybody's Instagram. I will, I'll definitely have their at names for their Instagrams and things like that. And I'll just share just a little bit about each and every one of them. There's only five. So let's get right into it. Now, just so you guys know, I am reading directly from these women's websites and they have no idea that I'm doing this. <laughs> and so there is definitely more than five, but I don't want to bore y'all. OK, and if need be, I'll share more as we continue to just have more episodes. Right. But these are the women that stand out directly to me. And I have worked with most of these women. There's actually six of them. I've worked with most of these women or I've been following them for quite some time and I will elaborate on each and every one of them. But first on the list is Marshawn Evans Daniels. She is a reinvention strategist, a millionaire business mentor, a best-selling author, a TV personality, a wife, and a faith walker. Now, Miss Mamas, her list is pretty long of the things that she has done and accomplished. And she is a very amazing woman. And I have actually worked with her before. And I have never of any talk, any class, any course, I have never seen her waver or go to any of these new age practices or anything like that when it comes to God. It is what it is, but she's also about her business. So I do want to share with you the guiding beliefs that she has on her website. She says, I believe that with God, all things are possible. I believe that shrinking and playing small dishonors your divine gifts 
and the God that lives within you. And I believe that God wants us to thrive and win in every single area of our lives every day and in every way. That means we don't put God in a box and we go wherever he guides. Money isn't bad. Money is a divine tool. God is a multiplier, a healer, redeemer, but most of all, a leader. It all belongs to God. Every career path, the political arena, the business world, school, entertainment, philanthropy, all of it. When God said, let there be light, he was giving you permission to shine. Number two on the list is my good sis, Tatum Tamia. I am honored to say that I have been able to work with her and her company, Anchored Media, in the past. Her yes to God is the reason I am here today with a podcast in the first place. So let's read her bio and see what she's all about. Tatum Tamiya Iomi K is an award-winning entrepreneur, executive producer, author, and devoted Christian who has committed her life to helping women bridge the gap between faith and business. Her impact as the CEO of Anchored Media includes a global reach of millions of listeners across 75 plus produced podcast shows in just two years. Through her personal brand, Tatum has cultivated a community of business women who give God full authority to use their business as a vessel for the kingdom. Using the word of God as her platform, Tatum's prayer journal and published books offer instrumental guidance to boss up in any entrepreneurial venture. Tatum has been featured in several magazines and publications and has been named as a top 30 under 30 in the Washington, D.C. area. So make sure y'all definitely go check out my sis on Instagram. Y'all already know for a fact she ain't wavering, okay? Number three on our list, you want to definitely make sure you go follow if you want some daily encouragement, a powerful prayer spoken right over you is my good sis, Marcia Cole. She was actually a part of Dare to Pursue in our last cohort in November. She is a speaker and a prayer warrior. She says that she is a child of God, a devoted wife, mother of three beautiful children, and an up-and-coming speaker to watch out for. She's worked for over seven years as a registered nurse, an active member at her church, and spends countless hours volunteering, feeding, and motivating the homeless and underdeserved populations. She is most passionate about encouraging and uplifting individuals of all ages to help them see and appreciate the beauty in the path that God has set them on. She is the co-founder of Born to Love, Inc., a nonprofit that transforms lives through community outreach events. She inspires weekly on her YouTube channel and which I was also on her faith focused and finished strong zoom talk, which is free you guys. So make sure that you go and check out Marcia. Number four on the list is none other than Ebony Shanae Evans. If you have no idea who she is, I have actually been following her on YouTube for quite some time. When I first started following her, she was not even who she, she was, who she was, but she wasn't who she was. If y'all get what I'm saying, like she has a powerful testimony and not only is she very, very prevalent on Instagram, but she is also very prevalent on YouTube. And I know for a fact that her story will definitely, definitely, definitely impact somebody that is listening right now. And so Ebony Shanae Evans is an ordained minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. She has been chosen by God to deliver his good news to the entire world. She was born in Houston, Texas, raised in Memphis, Tennessee, and now resides in New Orleans, Louisiana with her husband, Christopher. Ebony is on fire for the Lord. Let me tell y'all, she is on fire for the Lord, okay? She is on fire for the Lord and she's ready for every assignment the Lord has for her. She loves Jesus with everything in her and believes in true worship unto him, holding nothing back. She is a dynamic speaker, encourager, and preacher. Ebony lives with the knowledge that there is no greater power than the power of Jesus Christ. Point blank and period. Now, number six, last but certainly not least, okay, this is my good sis, Latina 
Miss Flawed and Free. If you have never heard me talk about Flawed and Free, if you've never seen me repost any of her things, then I'm here to let you know that she is here and she is in full effect. And this is who you want to be connected with. Like you want to be connected with everybody. Okay. Like I'm not sharing these people just to be like, oh, willy nilly, la di da. No, I'm telling you because you should definitely connect with these people. Like they will definitely make sure you have good, wholesome content on your page that will lead you not only towards God, but also in the way of entrepreneurship or corporate, um, being a corporate baddie. Okay. But Miss Flawed and Free, Miss Latina, she is a strategist, a coach, and a warrior princess. With her community flawed and free, she disciples and equips believers to conquer their spiritual Goliaths through deliverance and spiritual warfare. Yes, you heard me correctly. Deliverance. Her ministry is all about deliverance and spiritual warfare. Let me tell you, if you didn't think that you ever needed deliverance just because you're a believer and you're a Christian, that is a lie from the pits of hell. That is a deception from the enemy. He wants us to believe that, oh, we're a Christian. We don't need deliverance. Did you know that there could be generational spirits? There could be generational warfare against your finances. Did you know that there could be generational curses, which y'all, I know y'all know because we've already talked about this, but generational curses when it comes to sexuality, generational curses when it comes to diseases and health problems, generational curses when it comes to being married or divorced or never married at all, generational curses when it comes to division within your family like all of these things are for real for real and when I say sexuality y'all I'm not just talking about you know the big thing being homosexual or being heterosexual or whatever the case is I literally mean like sexual problems because these are real things that real people face and they still believe in God wholeheartedly but they don't understand why they have these problems y'all know I always talk about I hate when in the black family it's this thing like what happens in this house stays in this house the enemy eats that up the enemy loves that the enemy loves it what happens in this house needs to be let go it needs to be released and given to God so that it can be healed okay (laughs) <laughs> okay, honey, it needs to be let go and released so that it can be healed. And so back to Miss Latina. Okay. The fraud and free ministry is just a blessing and you want to make sure that you are connected. She gives this on her website, Ephesians chapter six, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So if you've ever thought that we did not, if you've ever had any confusion about spirits and if they exist or not, remember when the devil was kicked out of heaven, he took one third of the angels with him, y'all. So please don't ever believe or let somebody make you believe that these things do not exist. Let's meet Miss Latina. So Latina, a.k.a. Tina, the warrior princess, as your coach, she is going to show you how you can be free from the chains of past mistakes so that you too can say free to be me, flawed and free. She has been trusted by 1,403 warriors. Tina is a power-packed prayer princess, spiritual warfare strategist, and faith-based entrepreneur with an apostolic mandate. She is passionate about helping others become who God has called them to be through deliverance and freedom from demonic bondage. She is a spiritual midwife, prayer warrior, and gifted by the Holy Spirit with a prophetic anointing in prayer and sharing the word of God. On our quest to bring about positive change in the lives of others, Tina has spent almost 20 years as a nurturer and healer in a lucrative career as a registered nurse and family nurse practitioner. She now actively utilizes those gifts in discipleship spiritual deliverance, and kingdom building. 
She is not a registered nurse and family nurse practitioner anymore, you guys. Like, obviously, she still has her licenses, but she does not do that full time anymore. God has moved her into this place in which she's using those gifts within her discipleship and within spiritual deliverance and kingdom building. Tina is a proud mother, daughter, sister, and faithful servant to the Lord. And her commission is to serve you as we serve Jesus Christ. Like I said, you guys, each and every one of these modern pioneer women of their time, each and every one of these divine cultivators will have their Instagrams below in the show notes so that you can go ahead and check them out. If you have ever thought about deliverance, want to learn more about deliverance, or if you are being tormented by demons, please reach out to Latina, especially if you feel like you have nowhere else to go or nowhere else to turn to. I stand firmly on the fact that this is a year of restoration. So no longer do you have to be tormented by demons. No longer do you have to be tormented by generational curses. No longer do you have to be tormented by depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. No longer do you have to be tormented by childhood traumas. No longer. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. No longer. And you fill in the blanks. It doesn't have to be like that anymore because God has his people out here working. He is building up an army. I've been saying this since day one. He's building up an army. He has his people out here. The resources are here for you. And I believe that God told me to do this episode for a reason because somebody needs to be in contact with somebody. Somebody needs a little extra oomph on their social media timeline instead of all of that garbage that the world pushes out every single day. Somebody needed this today. Somebody needed these resources. And I know that these women can help you. And of course, y'all already know if you have any questions for me, or if you feel like I may be the best person that can help you or that can direct you, please do not hesitate to reach out. I always put my email in the show notes so you can send me an email or you can go right over to Instagram and just send me a DM. I'm always here to help. And I pray, like I said, that this episode was a blessing to you. If it was, share it with somebody else who you know may need it. Sharing is caring. And I will see you guys next week in another episode of the Successful Servant Leader Podcast.